Hello and welcome to this episode of CCS. In this episode, I'll be showing you how to fix a relatively rare issue for those of you with an Android phone who also happen to like transferring stuff between your phone and your computer, or your computer and your phone, whatever it is. So let's say you go to plug it in because you want to transfer, let's say, a picture, video you shot, whatever it is. You go to open device to view files, and if your device is newer, you also select USB for file transfers, because, hey, security. You do that. Let's say you want to go into your DCIM, because you want to grab some pictures from your camera folder, but you notice that even though you have a lot more photos than what's seen here, they just don't appear, so you might freak out for a moment. You might think, oh crap, did they accidentally get deleted somehow? And then you go and check on your phone, but you notice they're still there. They're, they just don't show up on your computer. Same with folders, for example, if you had something from another app you use, like ProShot, Instagram, something else, you know, lots of, plenty of apps like having their own folders for storing their own things. Maybe it just doesn't appear as there are a couple that should show up here, but don't. So the fix for this one will involve unplugging your phone first. You want to go into your system settings. Go to the application section. Make sure your system applications are shown because the two apps you want to get at are system apps. The first app you'll want to get at, you may need to scroll a little bit, it may take a while if you have a lot of apps installed, it is external storage. You want to go to the storage section of external storage. You want to clear data, delete all app data, do that. And then the second one you will also want to hit, it's a little further down in the M's, called media storage. Get that, go to storage section of media storage. And then you also want to clear the data on that one. Now after this, you'll want to restart your telephone and then wait at least a couple minutes before plugging your phone back into your computer. So I will see you in a little bit. Welcome back, I decided to watch TV for a little bit, so it should have been more than long enough, so we'll plug back in. We'll select the old USB for file transfers. We'll check out our uh, storage. You can notice the first load is a little slower than last time, but you'll notice, hey, your stuff's appearing again. And as you can see, it'll start indexing, you know, well, not so much indexing, but more so discovering all the files on your device. But yeah, you'll notice that whatever was missing now appears again. So why did this work? Those two system applications act as kind of a master file directory or listing, a little similar to those found in traditional computer file systems. In this case, not exactly, but it kind of acts as an index, basically keeps track of what's been exposed to connected computers previously. So all these images, for example, the computer will have a generally good idea of what's there, but let's say if I unplug it and then I decide to clean out some photos or back them up using Google Photos or whatever and then save some space, if the computer goes hunting for a device would say, hey, no, these images aren't there anymore. But if I took some new pictures or video or basically add new files, then I would know, hey, these haven't been exposed before, let's, let's expose them, as is the case with all the new photos and other things that would be there if you had this issue before, but you had some other stuff from previous days not show up at all. So I hope this helped you out. If you had this issue, always be sure after you restart your phone to give it five or ten minutes before you plug it back in, just to let it 
Notice that, hey, you cleared it and then it needs to be rebuilt. But otherwise, yeah, if you want to reach out, Connor's Comp Show on Twitter, CCS Connor's Computer Show at gmail.com, or on the video comments down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.